Hi students, in this class we are going to solve a numerical problem on the corona formation. We need to find out the critical disruptive voltage, visual critical voltage, the corona loss under the good weather condition, then the corona loss under the bad weather condition. The length of transmission line is 160 km, it is a three phase line. The diameter of the conductor is 1.036 cm. The spacing between the conductors is 1.44 meter with a delta spacing. So this is how the conductors are placed. They are at the corners of an equilateral triangle of side 1.44 meter. The air temperature is 26.6 degrees centigrade. The barometric pressure is 73.15 centimeter of mercury. The operating voltage is 110 kilovolt. Actually, this is the line voltage. We need to find out the phase voltage. The frequency is 50 hertz. The surface irregularity factor is m0 equals 0.85 the roughness factor mv equals 0.72 these are the parameters given in the problem the diameter of the conductor is 1.036 so we can find out the radius r is equal to 1.036 divided by 2 so this is equal to 0 0.518 centimeter so the radius equals 0 0.518 centimeter now we need to find out the air density factor the air density factor is Delta equals 3.92 into B. B is the barometric pressure in centimeter of mercury divided by 273 plus T. T is the temperature in degree centigrade. So this is equal to 3.92 into B equals 73.15, it is 73.15 divided by the temperature is 26.6 degree, it is 273 plus 26.6 and this is equal to 0 0.957. So delta equals 0 0.957. The voltage is given in the problem. Operating voltage V equals 110 kilovolt. This is the line voltage given in the question. We need to find out the phase voltage. This is equal to 110 divided by root 3, which is equal to 63.51 kilovolt. This is the phase voltage. Now we need to find out the potential gradient of air or the dielectric strength of air. It's a standard voltage. It is 30 kilovolt per centimeter. So this is the peak voltage. We need to convert this peak voltage into RMS voltage. So this is equal to G0 equals 30 divided by root 2, which is equal to 21.2 kilovolt per centimeter. And this is RMS voltage. So these are the data required to solve this particular numerical problem.
first of all we are going to calculate the critical disruptive voltage it is the voltage at which the corona starts but we cannot see the violets glow at this particular potential where vc is equal to m0 into g0 into delta into r into logarithm to the base e d by r kilo volt so this is equal to m0 equals 0 0.85 and g0 equals 21.2 kilo volt into delta equals 0.957 into the radius equals 0 0.518 into logarithm to the base e d by r that is 244 divided by 0.518 this is equal to 54.98 kilo volt this is rms voltage because g0 is an rms value so this is also in rms voltage the critical disruptive voltage now we need to find out the visual critical voltage it is the voltage at which we can see the violets glow vv equals mv g0 into delta into r into 1 plus 0 0.3 divided by square root of delta into r and the logarithm to the base e d by r kilovolt per phase so this is equal to or mv equals 0 0.72 into g0 is 21.2 kilovolt into delta it is 0 0.957 into r equals 0 0.518 1 plus 0 0.3 divided by root of delta equals 0 0.957 into r equals 0.518 the log d by r it is 244 divided by r equals 0.518 So this is equal to 7.57 into this is 7.57 into this is 1.43 into this is 6.15 so this is equal to 66.39 kilovolt this is also rms voltage because g0 is the rms value now let's find out the power loss under the good weather condition using the peaks formula P equals 
242.2 into f plus 25 divided by delta into root of r by d into b minus vc the whole square v is the operating voltage and v is vc is the critical disruptive voltage we have calculated the value of vc into 10 raised to minus 5 kilowatt per kilometer per phase so this is equal to 242.2 into our operating frequency is 50 hertz plus 25 divided by delta equals 0.957 into root of r by d r equals 0 0.518 divided by d equals 244 into v minus vc the whole square v is the operating voltage we have 110 volt system which is the line voltage when it is converted into the phase voltage we got it as 63.51 minus vc is the critical disruptive voltage we have calculated the voltage it is 54.98 the whole square into 10 raised to minus 5 kilowatt per kilometer per phase and this is equal to 242.2 into This is 78.37 into this is 0 0.046 into this is 72.76 into 10 raised to minus 5 and this is equal to 5.38 kilowatt per kilometer per phase so this is equal to 5.38 into we have 160 kilometer length line that is 160 into we have a three phase system into three phase so this is equal to 2582 watts so this is the power loss due to the corona formation under the fair weather condition now let's find out the power loss under the bad weather condition or under the stormy weather condition the formula is slightly different p equals 242.2 into f plus 25 divided by delta into square root of r divided by d into v minus instead of vc it is 0.8 vc so that's the difference in formula while calculating the power loss under the stormy weather condition in the good weather condition this is vc critical disruptive voltage under the bad weather condition this should be 0.8 vc all other part remain the same the whole square into 10 raised to minus 5 kilowatt per kilometer per phase so this is equal to 
242.2 into frequency is 50 hertz plus 25 divided by delta equals 0.957 into r by d r equals 0 0.518 divided by d equals 244 into v minus vc the whole square v minus 0.8 vc the whole square it is 63.51 minus 0 0.8 into vc equals 54.98 the whole square into 10 raised to minus 5. So this is equal to 242.2 into so this part is 78.37 into this part is 0 0.046 and this is 381.26 into 10 raised to minus 5 and this is equal to 3.328 kilowatt per kilometer per phase this is equal to 3.328 into we have 160 kilometer length line so 160 kilometer into we have a three phase system so this is equal to 1597 kilowatt so this is the power loss due to the corona formation under the stormy weather condition